Hello everybody, Sinusk111 here, and welcome back to Bingle Bingle. And sadly, this is going to be my last video on Bingle Bingle for quite a while because of the horrendous losing streak I've been going on. Despite me seeing a few wins on some of the videos I've seen on YouTube of this game. I don't think I would call this game playable by my standards. But it's still in early access, so things could very well change. Maybe some adjustments will be made during the time I go away from this game. And if you haven't guessed, I've pretty much given up on unlocking this class. And this class... Nobody can unlock right now because it has yet to be added. But that doesn't matter. I'm just here to get as high a score as I can, and that'll be okay with me for this part. Got me. Okay. 300 points is all I need for this first round. Okay, so golden high-low. And ice high-low, too, but I can't purchase it. Dang it. Oh, lock the shop it is. Now, given that I have a fragile token, I'm hoping that I get that fragile quest that I've been getting commonly as well. Wait, why didn't I get a... Why didn't I get a golden token from winning that golden bet? Strange. I, I may want to check that again. Ah, uh, I remain unfazed. Anywho. I haven't gotten the golden bed up, but still got one in the red, and that was just enough, it turns out. Okay. Echo high low. But it's fragile. It makes the token. Longer echo would sound pretty nice, but I'm gonna have to lock the shop for that because I only have half the coins I need for that. Three random pockets get frozen after using a token, that is fine with me. As per usual. Okay, well there's my coin now. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting the win on this no matter what. Yep, just as I expected, for a total of 1,750. But none of these quests have to do with destroying tokens. So... I might as well go for the next easiest thing. Monochrome, baby. Oh, why did I stick that on large ball? My mind just goes way faster than my... <sighs> why do I keep saying my mind goes faster than... My mouth keeps going faster than my mind. For some oddball reason. I don't know why. Just yikes. Oh. 
Well, that turned out to be a bust. I was hoping to see some more special bets, but doesn't look like that now. I gotta use some of these balls now. Oh, so it's 50% chance to trigger Golden. So it is kind of like Balatro in that sense, where where it's one in two chance of getting a of earning money every time a face card is drawn. Like that one Joker. I believe it was business card. Eleven. Okay, so I now have a whole row of low red numbers. Perfect for the high lows I currently have. Okay, large ball is coming into play. Okay, that gets me over halfway, but not quite enough. Yep. 3,000 even. So yeah, still not caring if I... If I unlock that... Blasted. What's it called? Second class? Yeah, it is. Still not really giving a care in the world about whether I unlock it or not. Just here to have a good time. And hoping that this game will change sometime in the future because it's still in early access as of me recording this. Believe it or not. It is going to be affected by one of the pockets beside what it's intended to land on now. Okay, I'm gonna have to go ahead and upgrade this now before I forget. And... Okay, I think this calls for a shop lock because there's a low number with red pockets. Freeze all pockets on the number... No, wait. Freeze all pockets with the number you have the most, which is 11. Oh dear. This could potentially be bad, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna pop just yet. Doesn't look like I'm gonna make it at this point in time. Okay, I was hoping to see that 15 again, but even with that, I might not pull through. <sighs> oh, didn't think so. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I just can't believe my luck with this game. I really can't. But I will take this random box. So, flash bets are what I'm looking for right now. Here's hoping I can actually get to them. Yep, I 
I'm good no matter what now. This first round. It's obvious. Uh, I'll get the wood token and place it here. And... Upgrading this is... Honestly, I don't know whether it would be a good idea to upgrade wood tokens. Because... Because wood tokens are one-time use per round. I might consider doing that again in favor of some... Balls, bets, and perks that I want on the rest of the balls. Being honest with you guys. 400, so provided that it lands on red once again. Yep, I'm good. At 800 points. Target ball and wave ball. Wave ball it is. Since it increases in value. Every spin. Still landed on red, I see. I'm gonna have to look for that wave ball that I just bought. There it is. It's going to increase in value. And now I'm going to be hoping that I see an item that will help my wave ball situation out a bit. Okay, a double token. Every time I discard a token, tokens are shuffled. That is fine with me. Oh, I should be more careful. Okay, it's 700 now, and the opening penalty is gone, so I'm golden here. Now for the quest, it is going to be... I'll give one, I'll give Holen one, one more try. I haven't won on it at least even once, but I'm pretty sure that it'll be okay. I don't think I've seen anything with breaking tokens in it. But what does it matter? Bet diversity also seems pretty useful. But I don't know if I want it anymore. I think I'm gonna move on and see what other stuff I can get in the shop now. Because I haven't locked it. Hey, double wave ball. Well, it's only 50 less than halfway. And at least I got even, but still 50 off. Surprising. I know. I'm gonna be using flash bets to my advantage here. Oh, a large ball. I'll put you right here. 
and upgrade you while I'm thinking about it. And at this rate, I'm gonna need to get some more... get some more red pockets. Looking likely that I'll need to do that. Another wood perk. Hmm. Strew Air 2 does sound useful as well. I think what I'm gonna do is get this wood token for right now. Put it here and Okay, so this is for the Strewer 2. I'm placing two pockets with twos in them. Oh, I, I didn't... I don't think I locked the shop. Oh dear, I am dumb. I'm so stupid. Oh, why do my actions go faster than my mind? It's so frustrating. Well, I'm making my way up the rounds once again, at least. Working my way back up to where I've been. all I can do. And I'm coming up on... After bet placed, same type of bet only places 10 chips. Oh dear. Or was it 10%? Oh goodness gracious. At least this is getting me over halfway there. Now I'm all the way there. Fine by me. I'm getting money dispenser for the additional money. And... Free rerolls, because rerolls are what I would use every so often whenever I see something I don't like. There we go. Now I don't need you yet, Wave Ball. This will at least get me close, but still not satisfactory for the quest. I'm just getting nowhere, I tell you. I'll get this Super Ball, place it here, and upgrade it twice. So I can have something else to work with. Uh, problem is, it's gonna break either way, and neither of these would have fragile. Well, I only live once. I just gotta hope that this large ball is gonna come up soon.
There it is. That is a sure 9,000 points, I see. Come on. Okay, well that works. Yep, that definitely does work. that contain two, and I got them. There we go. No, wait, that the Struer 2 was in the previous game I had just lost. I'm just now noticing. But Aftershock does sound okay, given that I have the Wave Ball. I think you can pretty much tell how fatigued I am from trying to desperately reach the final round with the archer. Pretty much turning into a lost cause at this point. If you ask me. wasn't going to go over. I've pretty much lost my mind playing this game, to be honest. Okay, what you got this time? Special bets turn into normal bets for this round. Uh-oh. That's going to be a whole lot of trouble. I'll have to work my way around. So, wave balls are going to be upgraded twice, and here's hoping that the game will be cooperative with me. Okay, they're both on even pockets, but this is nowhere near enough, unfortunately. Drat, 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 drat. Oh, this is so aggravating. I'm debating whether I should just end this part straight up or give it one more go. Well, I'm only at about 23 and a half minutes, so... And I'm considering the fact that most of my Bingle Bingle videos are about 40 minutes long on average. So... Yeah, one more try. Just for a last hurrah. I'll get the rainbow token as a last hurrah. Look at that. Started off this game with a flash bet, which paid out successfully. I'll get this pocket ball just so I can have it convert some pockets into whatever I so wish. <sighs> yeah, I think it I think it's pretty easy to tell that I've about had enough of Bingle Bingle for right now. I long for the days of Balatro now.
if it wasn't obvious enough. Okay, so it's a red seven the pocket ball landed in. Okay. So that means I'll have to work towards some... Some adjustments that'll make my game go towards red sevens. Okay, well this is gonna get me over at least. Thanks to the archer, in part. Which I know is helping me. Double token would sound useful for the pocket ball. Freeze three random pockets after using token. That is okay with me. Flash bet paid out big time. Thanks to the Super Bowl. Oh, man. Monochrome, don't really care anymore. Nothing really I want for right now. Yeah, th this is definitely gonna be my last video of Bingle Bingle for the time being. Given how poor my luck has been. I know it might have something to do with skill too, based on all of the videos I've seen, but... There's something about this game that I'm just not getting. At least I'm getting scores that are decimating the rounds as I go. Unless I'm not supposed to do that, then... It's gonna be a pretty difficult time... for me. You know... Red sevens nearly every time. More reds, more balls. Wow. I never thought that I would have this little fun playing a game on one of my videos. I never would have imagined it, to be honest with you. <sighs> Boy. After balls get scored, the score from a ball of the same type only scores 50%. Okay with me. Okay, that is acceptable. I'll remove this token from my deck. Duality, do I need it? Mm, doesn't look like it. Unique item box. What's this about?
Harbinger Ball. That would be okay for me to have around. I guess. I think I want the double token perk for the pocket ball. How oh, odd is what I'm going to be looking for here. Okay, that's over halfway. Okay, so that was pretty much nothing in comparison to what I would need. about this getting me over now because I wasn't paying attention to the flash bets and whether they were still active and thus resulting in me getting a game over. I think that is going to about do it for Bingle Bingle for a while. It does look fun, and I have been admittedly addicted to it, but given how poor my luck has been with at least making it to the final stage of the game, I just wouldn't call this playable in its current state. I, and I can understand that it's an early access, but there's still a lot that needs to be improved on. And I mean a lot. Like, like if you could get, if you could put some, put some items in that would be, that would be easy for the player to understand, and the and the explanations would be better, but, and the grammar would be better too, then it would be much easier for the players to understand. Maybe that would be, maybe the bad grammar would also be a contributor to why my luck has been so bad with Bingle Bingle. But unless they make Bingle Bingle into something that I can understand better and get and help get players farther along into the game than than what I've been averaging and I know that there have been some times where I'd make it to the final stage but not the final round then I don't think I would want to approach this game just yet in the future, once there have been some updates, maybe, but as of right now, I don't think this is something I would want to touch just yet. Especially given how woeful my luck has been. So, yeah, I'm kind of done with Bingle Bingle for right now. I'm switching right back to Bellatro next video. So, I'm gonna get some much needed rest, and I will see you in the next video, which should be sometime soon, for more rounds of Bellatro, where I win with. where I hopefully win with the Nebula deck or the Ghost deck. Or maybe I could try with the Red Stake as a little added challenge. But, yeah. As for Bingle Bingle, it is unplayable. 
at least for me right now. The YouTubers make it make it look so easy. I don't know why. I think it's just me. There's definitely something about Bingle Bingle I'm not getting right now. Okay. I think that's enough of me rambling. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!